Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about vitamin B12 and the best marker to utilize to see if you have B12 deficiency. Let's get right into it. Vitamin B12, best lab test. Vitamin B12 is an essential water-soluble vitamin, okay, and it's used in a lot of functions such as DNA replication, neurological function, uh, oxygen carrying capacity because it can create anemia. The best lab test is called methylmalonic acid. Okay? So methylmalonic acid has to go all the way down to succinyl-CoA. In order for that to happen, you need B12. Now if you're deficient in B12, what happens is methylmalonic acid will go up. So if you don't have enough B12, it's going to create a backup over here. And you're going to have an elevation of methylmalonic acid on your blood test. Now you can do this blood test through your regular lab. Uh, it's a simple test to do. Now the regular test that most physicians run or most primaries will run is something called serum B12. Now this marker will elevate if you're taking a B vitamin or B12 supplement. So it's not a true indication of need, it's just that you're taking it and it's in the bloodstream. Okay. So serum B12 might be elevated, but it does not mean that it's being utilized. In order to get the proper measurement, you need methyl malonic acid. Okay. There will be an elevation. Now, why do we check for methyl malonic acid? Oftentimes patients will come in, they'll have gastritis, or they're on a proton pump inhibitor or an antacid. Uh, they can be a vegetarian or vegan, and sometimes they'll be depleted in B12. You have H. pylori infections, which will uh, decrease the acidity in your stomach. And then something called megaloblastic anemia, where you have an elevation of MCV. Okay? Uh, the autoimmune version is called pernicious anemia. So methylmalonic acid is the best test for B12, but you can also check for something called MCV, which is mean corpuscular volume. Uh, you can also check for homocysteine. In the blood and that gives you some indication of B12 status but not the most accurate so the most accurate would be methyl malonic acid or an elevation of methyl malonic acid okay I made a separate video on B12 and cobalamin uh, more detailed uh, information there so I'll link that video below so you can go ahead and watch that and educate yourself about B12 all right my name is Dr. Jin Sung where clinical excellence meets excellent results and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.